Tension is growing as we get new reports emerge on Iran's nuclear program. Now Israel is threatening to act after reports say Iran could be less than a month away from building a nuclear weapon. This as a senior official in Iran says the country is still enriching uranium to 20 percent. Now that's just a small step away from reaching weapons grade. The reports contradict an earlier report that had the country that reduced it, the country reduced enrichment to a maximum of 5%. Now, this news coming just weeks ahead of the second round of negotiations aimed at ending Iran's nuclear weapons program. John Bolton is the former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and a Fox News contributor. Ambassador Bolton, good morning to you. Good morning, Arthel. Yeah, before we get into specifics, why don't you, if you would, give me your general assessment of these latest reports. Well, I think what they highlight on an urgent basis is just how extensive uh, the work that Iran has done already really is. Uh, they're not racing to build one or two nuclear weapons. They're building a capacity in their nuclear program uh, where when they decide to break out and weaponize, they could put together dozens of weapons. So this timeline that we hear about, uh, I think, demonstrates that Iran's capacity is already so great that uh, that the negotiations that we've been having with Iran are simply a way for them to buy more time and why these comments you're hearing from the Israelis uh, should should be a real warning to us that uh, time is very short. Then let's go to Israel since you bring that up. How without the backing the big bite of the U.S. let's say how effective is the bark of Israel? Well, uh, the, the the bite is 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 effective uh, to, uh, to to strike Iran now would be I think at the outer limit of Israel's capacity. But remember, they don't have to do the amount of damage that the United States would be capable of doing. What Israel has to do is break Iran's control over the nuclear fuel cycle at key points. Uranium conversion, not much talked about, but moving uranium from a solid to a gas, and uranium enrichment. And Israel does have that capability. Would Israel prefer to have the United States do it? Absolutely. Is there any chance that's going to happen under President Obama? No way, which is why the spotlight is on the very difficult uh, decision that Israel, I think, will soon have to make. And when you say soon, how soon are we talking about? Weeks? Months? Well, I think every day that goes by increases the risk that uh, in facilities we don't know about, in locations we don't know about, in, in places like North Korea that we can only speculate about, that Iran has already crossed the nuclear finish line, which means the risk of uh, retaliation for any strike by Israel or the United States would be a nuclear response. I, I think Israel may already be too late in some respects, and every day that goes by only increases the risk for them. Meanwhile, Ambassador, the White House and the State Department is asking, uh, they're asking Congress to uh, hold off on enacting any additional, any new sanctions against Iran because they want to give the, the current diplomatic talks that are uh, being going un underway right now to give it time to breathe to see if that could possibly work. What do you think about that strategy? Look, I think the administration's approach is nothing less than appeasement. I think we have to be straightforward about this. I don't think the economic sanctions that Congress has imposed or is considering are going to stop Iran's nuclear weapons program, but they do put pressure on the regime, and they're an indication of the toughness, the strength of the American position. When you see the Obama administration lobbying against these economic sanctions, it's a clear signal to the Ayatollahs in Tehran that they hold the stronger bargain position in these negotiations. There's no reason for them to make substantive compromises when they see the White House making them for them. Ambassador, if I could ask for a short answer in this final question, uh, where do you see this going? Is, is a new conflict in the Middle East imminent? No, not necessarily. I, I think the greater risk is the administration is effectively going to make all the concessions that Iran wants, legitimize Iran's nuclear weapons program, and that will lead to much greater long-term risk. Ambassador John Bolton, thank you so much, sir. Thank you.